Okay, hello, Stormy Monday by T-Bone Walker and recorded by lots and lots of people, Allman Brothers and many others. Okay, so I'm gonna do this in, in A, and so I'm gonna play it through once and then I'll go through the chords and the chord progression. So we're starting out with an A7, and this um, is we're going to do index finger on the sixth string, fifth fret, middle finger, fourth string, same fret, and ring finger, second string, also fifth fret. Pinky goes on the third string, sixth fret, and we're playing strings six, four, three, and two. Not playing the first string, and the fifth string gets muted with this, the index finger leaning over. And you'll notice when I play the progression, I'm doing that chord going down one fret and sliding it back up. The second chord is a D9. This, I'm going to bar the uh, first three strings with my ring finger going to take my middle finger and go up to the fifth string and the index finger goes to the fourth string one fret down. Truth be told, I'm usually leaning this middle finger over so this finger, even though it's fretting that, I'm usually not really hearing that. And the same thing, I'm going to play that and then go down a fret and slide back up. And then when I go back to the A7, go up a fret to A sharp, 7, B flat. Back to D9. And then I'm going to play that another uh, measure of that D9, but this time. And then what I'm going to do, this I just came up with this. I don't know if anybody else does it, but I think it sounds cool. On the third string, G string, middle finger, I'm going to slide up and I'm going to play the first string. Um, so I'm sliding from five to seven on the third string and getting the first string on the seventh fret also. And then sliding those down. So, so far we have this. to the A7, B flat 7, D9, A7. Now we do this next part. Now we're going up to a B minor 7 and this chord I am going to bar with my ring finger strings two, three, and four at the seventh fret, and then the middle finger goes to the sixth string, seventh fret. That, and that finger leans over and mutes out the fifth string. So we're just hearing again, six, four, three, two. Um, so that's my B minor seven. And then I go up to, um, C sharp minor seven to C minor seven back to B minor seven. And the next chord is going to be a B flat major seven. If you don't know this chord, it's kind of an interesting and different chord. Index finger goes on the sixth string, sixth fret, middle finger, second string, sixth fret. And then the pinky goes on the third string, seventh fret, and the ring finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. This almost looks like an A minor with different fingers. Um, and that is a major. 
major seven chord. That's a B flat major seven. And again, we're playing strings six, four, three, two, not one and five. And we go back to A7, D9, A7. And the last chord is an E diminished, and it's going to be fifth string, seventh fret, fourth string, sixth fret, and barring the second and third strings at the fifth fret. So one more time all together, A7, D9, A7, B flat seven, A7, D9, A7, B minor seven, C sharp minor seven, C minor seven, B minor seven, B flat major seven, A seven, D nine, A seven, E diminished. Great chord progression, super classic. Um, it's great to put this on a looper, and then you can play. Um, you can play just an A minor pentatonic, or you can do um, A Dorian. I always like to end songs like this on this um, on like a thirteenth chord, and so that's going to be. Um, just like if we make our A7. But now let's just let's take these, these fingers off. We'll leave the, um, the index and the middle finger on. And then we put our ring finger on the third string, sixth fret. And on the first and second strings, we're going to bar at the seventh fret. It's just a great dissonant chord that leaves it hanging in a bluesy, cool way. Enjoy. See you soon.